Well, hey my friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and today I have an organizing video for you. I love organization and it's just something that, I don't know, I just can't function in my home without some good organization systems. So today I'm teaming up with some other YouTube ladies and we're gonna share with you some organizing inspiration. The inspiration behind this collab is from Davey K and there's lots of other participants so make sure that you check, check, check Check the description box down below for lots of inspiration. I know I can always use it. I never get tired of watching organizing videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we store our medicines up in this upper cabinet here. Um, this cabinet right here is actually where we store our art supplies and I will link that video down below. But it's up high so that my kids can't reach it and um, you kind of really <laughs> need to be intentional about getting into this cupboard. As you can see, the cupboard goes all the way up to the ceiling. And I've purchased these Sterilite bins um, from a Target discount liquidation type store. Um, again, they were originally from Target, but we just have lots of liquidation items at this store from Target. Um, and so anyways, it just makes it really easy to kind of pull things out. I have used these all throughout my pantry and different storage cupboards in my kitchen. So we can just easily grab onto this and pull this out. Um, this cupboard is actually taller than I am, so just kind of reaching in um, makes that nice and handy. So behind the bin, we actually have just a couple things that um, we aren't using right now. Um, one is like a heat pack. You kind of heat it up in the microwave. We don't have a microwave, so we just kind of have it stored for now. And then um, actually the other one is two ones for your wrist and then ones for your back. So they're just in the back there. They were gifts. Um, and one day maybe we'll be able to use them. Um, if not, we will get rid of them. But for now, they're up there. And then the big pink bowl, that is actually our barf bowl. <laughs> um, so when someone's sick and um, they're laying in bed and they may not be able to get to the washroom in enough time, um, we just kind of keep that bowl with them uh, so that, you know, they can use that instead of the floor. <laughs> okay, so here's a better look at the size of this bin. Um, inside, I've got it kind of organized with different medicines. So on the side here, I've got all our large bottles and these are for things like cough medicine, calamine lotion, peptabismol, um, this is milk of magnesia and then we also have some Tums here on the side. So basically all of the large bottles kind of just live on the side of this bin. And then just tucked here on the side we have an extra baggie of band-aids. Um, we are actually going on a trip as of tomorrow as of as I'm filming So one thing that we do when we go on a trip is that we actually fill This little container here with first aid supplies. So just in here right now is a bottle of mineral oil um, I didn't have enough space within this whole container just to you know have everything So the mineral oil is just in here, but we will fill this up with um you know, Advil, Tylenol, um, some essential oils, our band-aids, just anything that we think that we might need while we are traveling goes into this. And then we just keep this in our truck with us. And then handy here, I also just have a flashlight. This is one of the kids' flashlights. We have emergency supplies that are on the very top shelf, but this flashlight is just kind of handy and um, we can grab it quickly if we need it. So the next part of this system is another Sterilite container. This is, I am totally drawing a blank on the name of it, but these are um, stacking bins and they all hold together. So you can actually purchase this bin a lot larger in, this, in size. Um, I can't, I'm not sure the exact dimensions of it, but it's quite a bit bigger. This seems to be working for us right now. Um, I have used these containers throughout my home for various different purposes, but I absolutely love it as a um, medicine holder. So the very top, has this, it has this divided compartment and this can actually come out so that if you did not need this divider, you don't have to have it, but it works well for us. So here we've got lots of band-aids. I've got young kids and band-aids seem to always be the thing that makes kiddos feel better. So we've got lots of band-aids. We've also got a bottle of new skin. 
and that's if you just you know have a minor cut or scrape you can add that on top um, and it acts sort of as a protectant and a barrier against dirt and things like that um, and then we've got lots of different medicine cups um, for taking you know cough medicine or things like that lots of different packs of medicine that um, no longer fit in the box so the box got pretty damaged um, we just kind of keep that stuff here mainly it's kind of like gravel and um, I don't even know what <laughs> I, we don't take a ton of medicine, um, but you know, sometimes you just collect these things and, and it goes. Um, one thing to always make sure of when it comes to storing medicine is that you are making sure that you are taking note of expiry dates. Recently, I went through my medicine and I got rid of a bunch of things that had expired. So make sure that um, you are making sure that your items are within date. We just have some gravel, ginger gravel here. This was, um, my husband was sick recently and my mother-in-law gave that to him uh, and he seemed to really enjoy it. We just have a little thing of um, Vaseline and some tooth um, medicine and then a finger brace. So those little things are just all kind of here in the top compartment. So in the next compartment is all of the kids' medicine. So we just have some tissues and then I have like another medicine spoon. You can kind of fill the cough medicine or what have you. Um, there's different lines on here to measure out how much you're giving them. I have these two bottles of um, first aid cream. These came from CVS and I really like them. One's with Arnica and one's with Calendula. Um, and it's for like cuts and sores and bruises and different things like that. Um, and these sort of help with those, uh, those ailments. We also have this um, Highlands Cough and Cold Medicine. We have the nighttime one as well. This is the daytime and the nighttime um, is actually with my daughter because she's got a bit of a cough right now and it's helping her at night. So this sort of helps with nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, cough, sneezing. Um, and this is a more, this is a homeopathic medicine and I find that it really does work. So we have the um, daytime one and then we also have the nighttime one. We have a bottle of children's ibuprofen and then a bottle of kids gravel. So uh, my daughter gets car sick quite, quite often. Um, and so this helps with um, the prevention and treatment of nausea, vomiting, dizziness due to motion sickness. So that's the kids version. And then we also have um, some gravel kids chewable tablets and it's marked on the back um, what these are. So those are, are some of the things that we would take with us in our first aid kit because we have dealt with a lot of car sickness before so um, we will add those and then also oftentimes I'll grab one of these bottles and the tissues and I'll throw in the medicine dropper um, spoon just in case we would need something like that. So in this final compartment we don't have a whole lot. This is the compartment designated for adults. We've got um, aspirin, we've got, let's see what is this, uh, acetaminophen and then just some allergy medication and cough drops. So we're trying to do more natural um, remedies and we actually went through all of last year only having one cold for our entire family and I attribute that a lot to using some essential oils and we, that we were diffusing all winter long. So we haven't had to use a lot of these things which is kind of nice but of course it's always beneficial to have this kind of stuff on hand. So this is the adult bin. Um, we're kind of out of cough drops, there's only a couple left, so we'll have to pick some of those up at some point, but there you go. So this is how we store our medicine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always love to see how other people are storing their essential items. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are new here, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. We'd love to hear have you here at Sweetly Home. Remember to check the description box for a link to all of the other videos in this clap. And I hope you guys have a great day and happy organizing. Bye.